Hi everyone, Ian here. In this video, I'm just going to go through how to work with initial state in MASH. So, to begin with, I'm going to create four objects and I'm going to move them away from the world center so that uh, they've got positions that we can bring into a MASH network. So, with these four objects selected, I'll go create MASH, create MASH network. And then I am, oh, over on the distribute node, notice that we had more than four, uh, had more than one object selected, which means that our number of points has been set to the number of objects we had selected. So on the way, so I'm just going to add an ID node to the IG channel, so that I get the four different objects there. Then back on distribute, I'm going to choose from the distribution type. I'm going to choose initial state. Now there are two ways to do initial state in MASH. This is the easy way and it's the kind of lazy way let's call it and it's not interactive. So if I move the sphere now uh, it hasn't updated here and uh, I'm also limited in the number of initial positions I have by the number of initial objects I have. So there are four objects in the repro node here and so I can only have four uh, initial positions. Uh, so there is a better way to do initial state and a less lazy way that involves a tiny little bit more effort and that is to use this initial state drop down here and uh, the way that you use this is to let's create some locators so I'm just going to create a locator and move it over here and I'll just duplicate this and uh, create four little positions here and then I back on the uh, distribute node I'm just going to drag the locators into the drag and drop box here for initial state and you'll see as I do this that our objects snap to these locations. Um, apolog <laughs> well, I apologize for the bug here. Um, I dra was dragging and dropping them one at a time and that's because if you drag lots at once they don't all get added so uh, bug there to be to be hot fixed anyway uh, so if I move a locator now you'll notice that the object position is updating so that's a kind of live initial state so that's why I recommend this route the other reason I recommend this route is because if you add um, let's just add another couple of locators and then drag and drop these onto our um, initial state drop zone um, you see nothing's actually changed because our number of points is set to four. So if I up the points to six, you'll see that we now have uh, we now have more initial positions than we had initial objects, which uh, c can be desired well most of the time, I would think. So that's why using the um, uh, using the locator route is is kind of a better way to go about it. Uh, on the ID node, of course, you can randomize the IDs um, if you want to, um, or you can use linear where we'll just cycle back to the beginning again. So this will go ID one, two, three, four, and then we'll go one, two again. So that's how that works. And that is really how you use initial state in MASH.